Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrinceandTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES, and you know, if you listen to CNBC, if you listen to, to various people, they'll tell you how hard this market is to trade and, and, and this, that, and the other thing. And I'm not saying it isn't hard, but I'd like everybody to take a step back and look at this daily chart, okay, and try to understand that the people that make the market hard are the people that want it to be hard because then you feel like you need them okay in order to be able to trade and ourselves ninety percent of what makes the market hard is in between our ears because if you take a step back filter out all the noise breathe and look at what's happening what's been going on in this market really isn't all that difficult we're trading in the bottom half of the Bollinger Bands we have since June 1, so for the last month. We've been unable to close, retest, and maintain the green line um, in any way since the 1st of June. We had a serious sell-off that tested the third standard deviation Bollinger Band and was bought and moved right back to the middle band. So when we get into situations like we got into on Thursday where the middle band is sitting up at 16.14 quarter and the upper volatility level is sitting at 16.14 quarter, you really have to separate yourself from everything else around you, concentrate on what you're doing, and just execute trades and you know manage your trade. Don't try to manage why it's happening. Don't try to manage what's going on with the Fed. Don't try to manage all these other things that people will stuff into your head all day long. Just have a plan, have a risk area, and just let the trade work. So where are we today? We t On Friday, we tested the, the middle band again, and we failed. The middle band comes in today at 16, 13 quarter at the moment but it's falling pretty rapidly. Uh, the bulls traded down to to, to 93 quarter. Um, 93 was a nice little support area last week. I was suspect um, that it's an area that the bulls are going to want to defend um, pretty fiercely. If you start to get below the 1590 area, then you absolutely risk the 100 day exponential moving average here at 1578. A break of 1578 would almost certainly, and I know it's 20 handles, but 20 doesn't take much to do 20 handles around here anymore. If you break 78, it absolutely opens the door for a retest of lows. Now remember, we did make those lows in the regular session, so that's something to be said for the lows. We didn't make them at 3 in the morning. Those tend to want to be tested. Uh, they may let the 53 lows stand, but here's the thing. If we continue to have the middle Bollinger Band as resistance, there are only so many times this is going to happen. It's been happening for a month now, solid, before the market says, you know what? Let's go test the 200-day exponential moving average, because that's where markets are supposed to revert to anyway. And that's a purple line sitting down there at 1524. So the bulls are running out of time before we get a much sharper correction. Does that mean the uptrend is over? Absolutely not. All we did here, recall, from last week, all this is, is a 38% retracement of the total move of this move you had this move from 1340 quarter to 1685.75 and we retraced 38 percent of it and the, I, it feels painful at the time but in the big scheme of things it's really not that big a deal we can come all the way back and test the 200 day exponential moving average down to 1520 if we bounce off it guess what uptrends intact uptrend is intact 
And for those of you out there that really want to see these big numbers that are making these gigantic suggestions of 1750, 1775, 1825, planet Mars, whatever you have going, you got to reload a little bit. 38% is a good start, but if you really want to reload, then you know you head down and you test the 200 and you move off of that. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. I'm just trying to tell you that middle band is absolutely resistance for now until it is broken, retested, and holds the support on a closing basis. So uh, we'll see what happens. Very volatile week. We got jobs week. Jobs report is on Friday. A uh, ton of economic news on Wednesday. Uh, we've got ISM today, so we'll see how it all shakes out. This is Mike Baki, PrincetonTrader.com. Check out the website. Check out the chat room. I will catch everybody tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.